Often when we're talking about risk, people mean market fluctuation risk. The idea that the value of their investment assets may go up and down over time. And that's a real thing. It's what we experience when we're invested, whether it's stocks or bonds or other combinations of things. But that's not the only kind of risk. And one of the things that we try to focus on is managing all of the risks. So let's talk today about another kind of risk, inflation risk. Things are going to cost more over time because of inflation. And if you combine that with longevity risk, people are living longer, then things are more expensive over time and you've got a longer time period for things to get expensive. Those two combined mean that your money needs to grow if you're not gonna run out of it. So when we think about investments, we have two categories of investments for this illustration. One is investments that are focused on income production. Those would be bonds or dividend paying stocks, things that pay you a higher yield, a higher income. On the other side, we have growth focused investments. They're really focused on growing the value of your investment. They're growing the share prices of what you have invested. Now, I know in the real world, there are some investments that try to do both or they straddle, they have a leg in each camp. For the purposes of this illustration, let's focus on income-focused investments versus growth-focused investments. Let's talk about the types of risk that we just explained. Market fluctuation risk. You have less market fluctuation risk with the income-focused investments, more market fluctuation risk with the growth-focused investments. In fact, you can kind of think of it that market fluctuation risk is the price you pay for that growth potential. We like it when it goes up. We just struggle when it goes down. So remember, market fluctuation risk is lower with the income-focused investments, higher with the growth-focused investments. But let's consider the other kinds of risk, that inflation longevity risk that I talked about. When you have inflation over a long period of time, investments that don't grow might run out. They might not grow enough the income that you're getting might not be sufficient to meet those needs when the prices go up, when the expenses go up over a long period of time. So these income focused investments have a higher risk when we're talking about inflation longevity risk. The growth investments on the other hand are lower risk when we're talking about inflation longevity risk. And it makes sense because they have the time to grow as the costs go up. So when you're thinking about risk, don't always focus on market fluctuation risk. Think about the risk of running out of your money because of inflation over a long lifetime. And remember that income-focused investments and growth-focused investments, they all have risk, just different kinds in different amounts at different times. We wanna think about all the types of risk when we're thinking about the fundamentals of our investment strategy because people who are smart about money think about their long-term goals and manage all types of risk.